come out today to my favourite woods to dig. It's the 29th of December. I've got my garret with me. And yeah, it's just for a wee look around to see how things are. So I've got my first signal. So I'll dig it out and see what we've got. Well, it appears deeper than I thought, so I'll get back to you once I've got it out. Well, this isn't a good show at all. I'm moving, moving the field, see how I've got this one today. A lot of metal in this ground here. I'll get back to you. So I dug it out, but it was nothing more than a hot rock. Just a piece of coal. So yeah, nothing exciting. So we'll carry on and see what else we can dig up today. It's one of the best tools you can have in your pack as a pointer because everything is the same colour as dirt as you can imagine so trying to find stuff is quite hard see what we've got big nut Just some kind of nut or washer or something. I don't think that's what the signal was, but there might have been a bit of copper in it. There's a lot of material in the ground here. It's a kind of waste dump area. Put you off for now and see what we got. Yeah, it's just a bit of the last piece of pipe or whatever it was, just a wee copper end where the thread was. So we'll carry on to the next bit. Not far from where I was, and I found another little thing in the ground just here. It's like a wee finial or something made of copper. Nothing too exciting, so yeah, we'll go with that. No, it's quite good. Four inches down, so we'll see what we have there. And then we go. Let's see what we have. The good thing about this time of year is that uh, you can get in about stuff, the vegetation dies back, so you can get to places you've never been before. So I would appear out the clod. Where are you? There it is. Looks to be a button or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Oh, perhaps a coin. Yeah, it looks like a coin. 
to me look like a coin. Yeah. I haven't really went into this bit properly, but that looks like a coin. I'll clean it up and I'll get back to you. Well, it would appear it is a coin, but I don't know what kind it is. There's very few markings, but you can see just on the right hand corner just a little bit of a rim, but it's well toasted. But that's interesting, it tells you that there's stuff of age. So yeah, we'll carry on and see what else we can find. So yeah, we have another good target here. Very strong, about 6 inches. Yeah, a good signal on that one. So we'll dig that live for you. We hope it's something nice. There's a lot of shooting going on in the woods today, so hopefully I won't get shot, as you can hear. Let's see if we've got anything. Alright, seems it's out the hole, so let's see what we've got with the pro pointer. I think that's it there. Is it? Yeah, just a wee clog clasp. Yeah. Again, it shows there's stuff here. I've dug this place pretty much to death, but I do keep coming back and I always find something. That's a clog clasp. So I've got a nice signal here. It's about four inches deep. So we'll see what we have. Hopefully it's nothing like a hot rock for the last time. Let's see what that is. There it is. Could it be a coin or a button? What do you think? Let's see. Yep, it's a button. Just a little button. Okay. We'll move on then. So I've been digging for quite a wee while now and it's been fruitless for the best part. Found a few marbles and wee odds and ends but nothing wonderful. And I've just got a signal in this hole. I've started to dig it. And... Oh, what's that? Something there. Yeah. Some kind of bottle stock. Alright, that's good. Nice, interesting piece. I don't know when it's from or what it is, but it's a bottle stock of some kind. And when I was digging out the hole, I noticed something else just there, which I thought was a bullet. But it's actually a pipe end, made a bone or something. Well, I'll clean these up and I'll let you see them at the end. I'm almost done, gonna go and have my dinner soon, so yeah. There we go, that's no bad. Here we are, another signal, four inches deep. See what we've got. The ground here is quite good, it's needing more investigation. Looks like an old dump. Let's see what we've got here. I think I've found it. And there it is. So we wheel off a something. Oh, a 
That's a watch, a clock, cog. That's interesting. I'll have a wee look and see if the rest of it's there. Yeah, not bad. Something interesting, different. It's getting about that. Well, we've got another signal here. Quite a good signal. Again, about four inches. Let's see what we have in the hole. I can get it out. So many roots here as well. Oh, there we go. Let's see. What's the hell? Seems to be on the side. Hmm. Oh, a bit of silver paper. Not good. Not good for elastic. Oh, mind. We'll head back to the car and yeah, I'll show you the finds later. Well, one of my last digs, as I say, head back to the car and. There we go. How's that for a lovely wee brooch? That is nice. I'll get it to focus for you. Get my glove off. Sorry, the light's so bad. There you go. Give me a bit of enamel on it and gild in. Or something. That's very good for my last dig. So yeah, I'll show you in a clean up. So here's my roundup of the finds for today. Um, sorry I'm inside, but as we say in Scotland, it's a bit dree outside. So I have to do it in my kitchen, on my cutting table. And here we go with the first item. It was a hot rock, just a bit of coal. Uh, the big nut that I found, big rusty old nut, seems to be a theme for me, getting nuts, and a bit of copper, what I thought that was a clog clasp, it's probably just a suspender belt fastener or something, off braces, a little copper button, Quite a common find and the wee finial was actually a bleed nickel for some piece of farm machinery. This was interesting, I like that, I just like the shape of it. Yeah, it's a nice uh, bottle stop and the pipe end mouthpiece yeah just bake light of plastic not that old the cog that's for some kind of timepiece it's not a watch I would think it's a clock or something bit of silver paper um, this got me going when I saw it in the hole it was just it came up in the dig it's just made of plastic but it looked like a coin and this is a door handle cover for an old lock couple of marbles, this one's interesting, it's been beaten to death, just an old coloured marble, really nice, shame it's smashed to bits, and a wee stoneware marble, Relic Hunt Scotland, when I watch his videos he likes these, and the nice brooch, Victorian brooch. Shame the enamel started to come off, but yeah, it's in reasonable condition for being buried under the ground. So that's nice. I like that. It's a nice find. And of course, the coin. I think the only coin today. Yeah, the only coin of today. I couldn't get any more detail out of it. Yeah, you can just see the rim round the right hand side. And on the other side, where I saw a date, I only just saw it in the video, but I don't see it, even this close up, 
I can't make anything out. I'll maybe come out the video again. I'll have a wee look and see. There seems to be a number in the middle. So I'll take a couple of pictures. Like a 9 4 there on the right hand side. Yeah, there seems to be a 9 and a 4, a 194. So that's the roundup. Thanks very much for watching. I uh, appreciate all your comments. If you think you know anything about the wee coin or the brooch or this lovely wee stopper, which is quite interesting, please leave a comment. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you did, please subscribe and like. And I hope to see you in the next video, which I should have up midweek. And yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks very much. Happy hunting. Take care and always be safe.